Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, everyone, go ahead and take a seat. So we're going to start a Godfrey soon. So, as you guys know, it is Kiki's last night with us. Our beloved pastor is leaving a Godfrey to pursue bigger things. So let's give him a warm welcome for his last lesson. Bathroom? Maybe you didn't poo this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna go check. But his coffee is right there, and it's only half done. And he always finishes coffee. <laughs> Maybe his cell phone's in the car. <laughs> okay, everyone, we're probably overreacting. He's probably just in the bathroom. Do we just I found this in the bathroom. It's like a bloody tissue paper. Oh what? Oh It says help! 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 with local blues. In this special edition, we are tracking the mysterious disappearance of beloved pastor Chris Yen from his local youth group, Chinese for Christ. Agape. I'm sorry, no, that's agape. Anyways, the youth group has spent the past three days since the disappearance last Wednesday searching for him. This is Linus, switching off the muffin, who is covering the drama in person. Thanks, Linus. I'm standing here in front of Chinese for Christ Church where several desperate agape, agape members are searching for Father Christopher. Now, from what I can see, these agape people truly miss uh, Papa Yen. I've been standing here for the past three hours and these people have not stopped looking for Papa Yen. You'd think they lost a pet mouse or something. Like if it fell in the toilet and someone flushed it or something. Kiki! Hey, you! You over there! Kiki! Kiki! Why did you? Where are you? Why do you miss Father Christopher? Kiki, he's because he's been like a real father to me. Because it's, he's led me through so much. He's like given me advice on stuff, taught me so many things. We've had so many fun times together. It's, it's, it's a real loss. Like, we we have eating competitions like real man. It's just cut really hard for me. I'm sorry. It's just he's been like a real father to us, and like, we I don't, we don't know what we'll do without him. If you heard it, guys, looks like Father Christopher is truly loved by his kids, and he loves them a lot. So let's take a look indoors, where the gentle giant is monitoring the situation. This is Muffin signing out. Thanks, Muffin. So right now. Kiki, are you? Oh, never mind. You know, Kiki. you might have fallen through. Kiki. 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 Hello, Kiki. Kiki. Hello, 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 Kiki. H
you were you did the right thing in, in the way you treated us. Because there's a lot of people in Agape that we wouldn't be able to relate to. Yet, uh, for a cow surf, uh, I felt I could really relate to you. I felt everyone in Agape could really relate to you. And that's why I love you so much. And I, I shed man tears when you gave your girl speech to Spring Retreat. I, I actually cried. Thanks, Kiki, for that. Thank you. So, this is Gentle Giant, signing off. Welcome to the Saturday evening edition of News and Blues, where we bring to you the best mixture of local news with local blues. We're continuing our special edition today on the disappearance of Pastor Yen from CFC Agape. Yesterday, we heard from our two lovely newscasters, Muffin and the Gentle Giant, about the futile attempts of many of these kids to find their disappearing, disappeared pastor. However, today I'm sad to report that chaos is taking over the scene. Several kids, their emotions warped by the trauma of the situation, have been reported to have literally gone insane. Now, let's head over to Alvin, who's reporting live to us on the scene. Thanks, Slime. It's just as you were saying. Let me take you inside to see. As you can see, it just isn't the same without Pastor Yen. Tensions in this group have risen to an all-time high. What is the right? Harry, we need our pastor back. He's been such a positive influence to us from the second we joined the conference to the second we I don't care how you get him back. Just get him back. So, um, I don't know what happened to Alvin, but this is Mochi, and I'm currently witnessing a 4 a.m. raid where several Agapeites are currently searching for their pastor right here, where they believe their pastor is being held. Miss, miss, miss. So, tell me, why are you guys raiding this place? We think that Kiki is being held in there. We found a note in the girls' bathroom that said, in Kiki's handwriting, that said he's, uh, that his old high school is haunting him. So you're willing to get caught, arrested, and sent to a mental institute? Of course! See, <laughs> Kiki is important to me because he's always been there. And whether it was a Friday night that I needed to laugh or I needed some advice with, uh, about school or friends, he was always there for, for us and all of Agape. So we feel like we need to be here with him when his old high school is haunting him because he helped us through our toughest times in high school. And our pastor is really important to us because, because he's, he's just, yeah, it's, it's really emotional. It's really hard for me to describe, but I don't, I can never imagine Friday nights without him. And so I, if you excuse me, I must get on with okay. this right. Okay, thank you, miss. We'll see how well this turns out. Body in here. Maybe Kiki shrunk. That's weird. I could have sworn I felt real flesh. Are you sure? It looks like a paper airplane to me. Uh, that is a paper airplane. Maybe it's another clue. No, Kiki would never have given up one of his precious paper airplanes as a clue. I think the kidnapper is taunting us. As you can see, there is massive confusion over the situation. Well, unfortunately, my time is running out. This is Mochi, signing out. We are at the scene of Pastor Chris Yen's house. As you can see, there are several Agapeites trying desperately to break into his house in search of him. However, it seems that all of their efforts are failing. <laughs>
with local blues. Uh, today, we're wrapping up our special feature on the disappearance of Pastor Yen from Chinese for Christ Church in Berkeley. The traumatic event, which occurred five days ago, has since raised floods of teenagers as they scoured the area searching for the lost man. Today, we are interviewing select members of the group as they tell us their thoughts, feelings, and suspicions, and most of all, their love for their pastor. Continuing the interview today is Brownie, and so no further ado, let's go to him. Thanks, son number one, or number two. I always mix you two up. Anyways, this is Brownie conducting an interview with Agape Teenagers caught in this mess. First, we have Eric Liu. Please join us. Now, tell us about your history in Agape. Why is Pastor Yen so important to you? Um, well, I joined Agape a few months ago, so um, basically, uh, I felt like when he was giving a lesson, it was like it wasn't all like serious, like all the other churches I went to. So I just like kept coming back, and he's like really nice and stuff. Thank you. <clears throat> Up next, we have Daniel. Please join us. So why is Kiki so important to you? Well, I've been in the coffee ever since seventh grade. I've been in this church ever since I was born, basically. Um, but, um, during the lessons, he well, he could joke and tell us about his past, and he always could joke about it. Um, he always he could lighten the mood. He had um, and he had um, all of this childish kind of thing, and. Yeah, that's basically it. All right, thank you. And finally, we have Hannah. Please join us. So, why is Pastor Yen so important to you? Well, Kiki, he's just really funny, and it's like he can relate to us because he acts like a teenager himself. And he's always, like, really just nice and sweet and... I don't know, he can just joke a lot, and when he's giving a lesson, it's just, he can just make it fun, you know? Thank you. So, who do you think kidnapped Pastor Yen? Daniel. Who do you think kidnapped Pastor Yen? Eric. Leo. I think it was Chow Yu. Hmm. I think it was Tiger. It was probably Gina. I think it's Mel. Have you seen how she looks at him? Who kidnapped Pastor Yen? What? What kind of question is that? Sorry, Brownie, but we have to interrupt with breaking news. Turns out that some agape teenagers have discovered the location of their pastor. The final raid is taking place right now. Follow me! It's a puzzle. I think it tells us where he is. I thought it. it says... In the fellowship hall. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Let's go! 